I've been on a bit of a minibot kick lately, thanks to recent releases. The minibots and their successors, the Throttlebots, were great little toys and characters. So I think it would make a fun list to rank the various versions of these guys throughout the years. Sadly, I don't have every version of every character, so I'm going to choose the definitive versions from those that I actually own. And hey, these lists are meant to be fun, so let's have some. Ah, the enigma that is Titan's Return Roadburn. A remold of Bumblebee, sporting Throttlebot Chase's colors, with fellow Throttlebot Searchlight's head, and a name that evokes... None of the above. I like this figure as Chase, though. It is a little flimsy when it comes to holding itself together, but it's still a fun toy and looks fantastic in both modes. This is one of those rare occasions when the Throttlebots have been referenced in modern times, so I feel it's important he gets a spot on the list. The design looks great in these colors, and I honestly wish they had given us more remolds of this toy, as some of the other Throttlebots. Cosmos is one of those characters that was memorable mostly because he was so weird compared to everyone else. In a world where all the characters were giant robots that could change into cars and planes, Cosmos was the strange one. Because he turned into a UFO. The Generations version of Cosmos is quite possibly my favorite iteration of the little spaceship that could. I like his design in this version because the alt mode is slimmed down more like a traditional flying saucer. His transformation to robot mode offers a sleeker and more powerful looking form that also matures the character visually. While I'll always find his original look endearing, this take on Cosmos will forever be my favorite design. At least I'll keep telling myself that until by some miracle I manage to find the legacy one. What? A live action design? Look, I've said it before, I'm no fan of the Bay movies, but I will acknowledge a good design when I see it. And I actually really like this figure of Power Glide from the Dark of the Moon Cyberverse line. The colors are muted, but still match the old Flying Ace really well. I love the custom Autobot emblems on the wings, and the nice touches of silver to break up the red. But it's the transformation and the robot mode that really shows how great this design is. They took his G1 look and spruced it up with lots of little details. I really like how the midsection of the plane forms the shoulders and evokes the look of where the wings went on the original Power Glide. Say what you will about the movies, but the Dark of the Moon Cyberverse line had some damn good figures, and Power Glide was definitely one of them. Pipes has always been a favorite of mine for one reason or another. I just like the guy. I like his colors. I like his look. He's just a cool little truck. And his Kingdom figure was one of my more anticipated releases from the line. Taking the Huffer mold and making little tweaks that I feel improved the figure overall and obviously gave it that distinct Pipes look. It does suffer from a weird bending in vehicle mode, but I still like the figure overall. Yeah, I never found Legacy Beachcomber, but this is still a great figure. Scale-wise, he might even be the best version of Beachcomber. He nails the look, the colors are spot on, and the figure itself is perfectly poseable. At least, that's what I'll keep telling myself until I can get my hands on the Legacy mold. Preferably in G2 metallic green. Whining aside, I do like this version though. It's a fun figure! Not overly complex, and reminds me of the days when Transformers were more about the line-wide gimmicks and the play value. Why am I here again? To tell the viewers about channel memberships. What about them? It's as little as a dollar a month to support the channel. Oh yeah, sounds great. So can you tell them that, please? No. Why not? Because you just did. It's really hard to nail down a definitive version of Warpath. The original is a fun little tank. The Legends class Warpath is a fantastic spiritual update. The Kingdom version is a modern take on the classic look. 
but I have to give it to the Generations release as probably my favorite version of the character. It nails the look, but at the same time, modernizes it in ways that just make me happy. His only real fault is probably the lack of ankle tilts. There's something about the Generations design that I feel takes Warpath to the next level, freeing him of the shackles of being a cute little tank and making him into the powerhouse Autobot he always projected to us on screens. Credit where credit's due. This is a fun version of Bumblebee. It just nails the look in my opinion, and is incredibly fun to transform. I may not be the biggest fan of the character, but the Studio Series 86 Bumblebee definitely hits the right beats on what made me like the little bugger when I was a kid. Brawn is a weird one for me. It's not that I don't like the character, but his original toy never impressed me much. I honestly forget that I own it sometimes. But the Studio Series Brawn really took the design and made it all make sense. It's not only show accurate, it's a blast to transform, and results in a fantastic SUV alt mode that fits perfectly to the character. Gear still surprises me. He's by no means a character I was screaming for a new version of, but this Legacy United version is just a damn good figure. It is so fun to transform, and looks great in both modes. The design team did a fantastic job with Gears, and I'm seriously considering getting any version of this mold that comes out. Goldbug is just fantastic in my eyes. The nostalgia I have for the original definitely plays a factor here, but it's more than that. The Legacy toy is a fantastic design, and looks incredible in Goldbug's colors. That blue just pops with the gold. And I will die on the hill that this design fits Goldbug better than Bumblebee. Despite the parts forming, he's a really fun figure to transform and looks fantastic in vehicle mode, all blinged up. Well, there you have my top 10 Minibots and Throttlebots figures. Who's your favorite of these groups? Compiling this list makes me wish we'd see more modern takes on guys like Rollbar and Wideload now. Thank you so much for watching this latest Top 10. If you enjoyed this video, please remember to hit that like button. If you really enjoyed it, maybe mosey on over to that subscribe button while you're at it. Either way, as always, try to stay happy.